Chuck Jackson, who worked with the late Burt Bacharach on the hit single Any Day Now in 1962, has tragically died at the age of 85. Fans and colleagues alike have flooded social media with tributes to the Hall of Famer. Audie Crostell of Chuck's record company, Kent Records, announced the star's death over social media. While she confirmed that the singer had died on February 16, no further details were provided. She wrote in a heart-wrenching announcement, There are confirmed reports that one of the very greatest soul singers of all time, Chuck Jackson, died on February 16. His 60s and 70s recordings are hugely important works, revered as much now as on release. His passing will be deeply felt around the world. The R&B singer reached the peak of his fame in the 1960s. In 1962, Chuck released his breakout song Any Day Now which lodged firmly in top 25 charts. The song, which was co-written by Burt Bacharach who died earlier this month, has been covered by countless musicians since, including Elvis Presley. Chuck also placed over two dozen singles in the Hot 100 charts in the same decade. Chuck and Burt would go on to work together on a number of songs throughout the years until the acclaimed composer died of natural causes at the age of 94. The legendary musician's endeavors in the R&B genre earned him a Pioneer Award from the Rhythm and Blues Foundation in 1992. The South Carolina native was also inducted into the R&B Hall of Fame and the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame in 2015. His tragic passing also comes as Kent Records is reportedly in the midst of re-releasing the music that cemented his legendary status decades ago. The Annie Day Now singer started his musical career in church and in 1957 made a professional start in the group Del Vikings. Unfortunately the band only lasted for three years, but Chuck endeavored regardless and eventually found himself opening for Jackie Wilson at the Apollo Theater in New York City. Don't miss, Chuck was discovered by songwriter Luther Dixon at the Apollo and co-wrote the 1960s hit single I Don't Want to Cry with Him, and through Luther's connections Chuck was quickly signed to Scepter Records. With this company the singer ended up collaborating quite a few times with renowned singer Dionne Warwick. Dionne led condolences with a statement released on social media by her record label on her behalf. The heartbreaking tribute read, Another heartache has come my way. Chuck Jackson has made his transition. He was my label mate on Scepter Records and was like a big brother to me. I'll truly miss his daily calls checking on me and his wonderful voice. Rest in heavenly peace my dear friend. Another musician, Stephen Van Zandt, declared, one of the last great soul men. Me and Bruce had the honor of working with him on the Gary Bones albums. I had met him eight years before on the oldies circuit. He left us with his classic line in Club Soul City, restricted to the losing kind he was a winner. Fans soon followed with their own messages as one penned on Twitter, amazing voice. R.I.P. to another soul legend. Another wrote, I am saddened today, a real legend of classic R&B has passed. The great Chuck Jackson. Beautiful spirit, gorgeous man and good friend.